Example 3.11 or 4.11 for the given textbooks. For details, please see the description below. In this example, we need to determine the specific volume of the refrigerant 134A at 1 megapascal and 50 Celsius. We're going to do this by using the ideal gas equation of a state, by using the generalized compressibility chart, and then we're going to compare the obtained results with the actual value, and then we're going to determine the area involved in each one of the cases. We start with the ideal gas law. For that, we need the value of R for the refrigerant, which is equal to 0 0.08149, and the units are going to be kilojoules, kilogram Kelvin. The next step is to be able to find the value of the specific volume. We're going to use ideal gas law, PV is equal to RT, and then solving for the specific volume, we find that RT divided by the pressure. The value of the pressure that we have for our case is going to be equal to 1 times 10 to the 3 kilopascals. And the value of the temperature, remember that it has to be done in Kelvin, that is equal to 50 plus 273. That is equal to 5323 uh, Kelvin. We substitute these values, we have a specific volume. 0 0.08149 kilojoules kilograms Kelvin. The temperature is 323 Kelvin. We divide by the pressure. The pressure is 1 times 10 to the 3 kilopascals. The value we obtain uh, is going to be equal to 0 0.026325 and the units are going to be kilojoules is the same thing as kilonewton times meter. We have Kelvin in the top. We have kilogram Kelvin in kilopascal is the same thing as a kilonewton times meter square. Then we cancel. Kilonewton and kilonewton cancel. Kelvin and Kelvin cancels. And then we have, this is meter square and meter uh, become meter cubed and this is kilogram and these are units of a specific volume so this is the value using ideal gas law for part b using the compressibility chart to find the specific volume we go to table a1 in order to get the critical values of temperature pressure and volume you notice over here for r34a we have these are the values for temperature pressure and volume for critical point properties. Once we have the critical values of the temperature, pressure, and volume, what we need to do is calculate the reduced values for the pressure and the temperature. These are done by calculating the reduced pressure is equal to the actual pressure divided by the critical value. And in this case, we have one megapascal divided by 4.059 megapascal. And that gives us point 246 and we do the same process for the temperature and this is going to give us 323 Kelvin which is the working uh, temperature divided by 374.2 Kelvin and this is going to give us 0.863 once we have the reduced values we're going to go now to the compressibility chart to get the value of Z Having the value of the reduced uh, pressure and temperature, we're going to the compressibility table to be able to get the value of C, the compressibility factor. So we go to the reduced pressure, notice that it's around 0.25, so it's somewhere around this point. We go up, and notice that the temperature that we have reduced is around 0.8. Uh, the lowest one that is in this table is 0.1 so we could somehow estimate that the value is somewhere around this point over here we could approximate that the value of z is equal to 0.84 which is also given in your textbook once you have the compressibility factor then you could find the specific volume by simply doing the value of z times the value of the ideal 
which is what we obtained in the first part of the problem. And then we multiply those two values and it gives us 0 0.022113 meter cubed per kilogram. These are the values we obtained for the specific volume for part A and for part B, and this is the real value. If we compare the percentage error for part A, we find that this is equal to 20.8%. And if we evaluate the percentage error for the second part, we find that the error reduces significantly to 1.45%. This shows us that by using the compressibility chart, the error gets dramatically uh, reduced and allows us to use the compressibility chart with much higher confidence.